Hey, professional drivers. Hopefully y'all are having a great weekend. I was hoping to release a video this weekend on chains versus snow socks. I did not run my snow socks over Donner's Pass. And that is from Reno to Sacramento, if you don't know where that's at. Now, so far this season, I have ran my snow chain seven times. I can tell you for maximum securement, which is both drives and a axle on your trailer, it takes me roughly 30 minutes. I purchased snow socks, only two sets. So that would be just my drives on my tractor. I would probably still have to chain up on a axle on the trailer if a state required maximum securement but supposedly them so snow socks take about two to five minutes per tire and to all of my professional drivers out there that don't drive in states that require having some kind of traction securement here's a few pictures of snow chains and snow socks And of course, that last picture is the two sets of snow socks that I purchased at a Love's Speed Co. just east of Reno. And those snow socks set me back about $520 after everything was said and done. Now, I am carrying maximum securement of uh, traction chains, snow chains, and I've had those now for three seasons. They're getting kind of rough. I could probably get another season out of them if I wanted to. And I, if I remember correctly, they ran me $70, $75 a bag. And you are required to have snow chains or snow socks on you if you want to run west of the Rockies. Basically from that Rocky Mountain line going all the way to the west. All them states pretty much require it, of course, with a few exceptions. And to my drivers out there that do run them wintry mountain passes, and have to chain or sock up. If you have ran both, let me know down in the comment section what you like best. I do understand on snow socks, you have to run a lot slower than what you would on snow chains. Uh, the, the two sets that I bought, you can't run any quicker than 20 miles per hour. And I know on snow chains, I would, if you set them right, which I set them right, I typically can run about 30 is where I'm comfortable at before you start blowing those, uh, the tines or whatever they're called that actually goes across the tire. So I am on my way to Wheat Ridge, Colorado, which is a suburb of Denver, Colorado. And I will be taking, I'll be going straight across Grand Junction, Vail, right outside Breckenridge, all the way down into Denver. And I looked up the weather forecast and they are scheduled to get hit as I'm passing through there. So I guarantee I'll be socking up. And hopefully next weekend I can have an accurate account and information on snow socks versus chains. I got one more picture to share with y'all. It is a securement picture. It's casual vehicle, four wheeler pulling a trailer, but it's a light, lightweight forklift on a, on a little flatbed. Look like maybe a little 24, 25 foot trailer. And uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Now that picture was taken in Modesto, California. Don't be that guy. All right, everybody, holidays are getting close. It's growing near. Can you believe that Christmas is already almost here? Gosh, this year went by so fast. I hope each and every single one of y'all make it home safely to your families. Y'all take care. And of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please give my channel a like. At least give it a like. It helps me out.